y'all and welcome to CC's Texas Garden. Guys, it is 75 degrees today. Um, and it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. It's hot, even though it has an over, you know, an overcast, it's still hot. Anyway, what I'm doing today, guys, so you know that I started winter sewing and I know people were skeptic because I do live in Texas so they're like you can't really do winter sewing in Texas and I wanted to let you know it is possible I did it like Domino is sitting on my foot move move <laughs> he's like I'm gonna sit right on her feet um, it is possible to do it in Texas because we do have cold enough temps okay so let me show you my jugs Right here. Y'all see them? Okay, so those are just a handful, just a handful of my winter sewing jugs, right? But we're gonna open these up. These are ready, and so uh, I'm gonna open them up. They need to be transplanted. I'm gonna transplant them into these nice solo cups that already have the soil in them. So that they continue to grow and it's a great way to do your starts very simple I will link down below in the description my video when I was winter sewing and how I got started with that what I used was uh, milk jugs and water jugs you can use juice containers you can use you know all type of stuff so um, we're gonna start off here beef steak tomato y'all beef steak tomato and I was I have to tell you I was kind of nervous because I was seeing my friends you know doing their inside growing and getting ready to bring their stuff outside and usually last year I had over a hundred something starts in my house and I was determined I was not doing that this year so I was really putting my faith in this uh, method of winter sewing I think it paid off let's go ahead and open this first one now some of these um, most of these I started in January I still have some that I started in February over there some still in January that nothing has came up yet but this one was the 12th of January this is the beef steak tomato y'all up I want y'all to see as I see <laughs> look at that very good germination beef steak tomatoes <sighs> that's like having your starts already so we got this right here um, I have four in there I think I only planted four or five seeds in each container Beef steak tomato. We're starting off pretty good. I don't know how long this video is, so if you do need to go get snacks, something to drink, do that. <laughs> okay, this is the toothache plant. Yep, they're pretty tiny, but um, toothache plant is a medicinal plant. I'm gonna get this tape everywhere on me, but. Let me show y'all. We have two thick plants. We have four up. All right. Now, here is blue dwarf kale. As you can see in this jug, you can tell that that was very good germination in this one. That kill said it's time to get out of there. Here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> they're they, they're ready to come out of there. Wow. It's about at least eight. Mm -hmm. Tabasco pepper. Tabasco peppers. Here 
we go. They're in there. We have five up. <laughs> Salad bowl. This is lettuce. You can see through there that it is definitely ready to come out of there. Here we go. Salad bowl lettuce. Look at that. Beautiful. I mean, you can take it right now and put some ranch dressing on it or Italian dressing or some balsamic vinegar. Just eat it straight out the container. I don't eat salad. But if I did eat salad, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't eat salad. So, uh, I'll give it to my kids. <laughs> but if I did, um, yeah, that would be wonderful. <laughs> All right. Here we got Rainbow Swiss chart. 130 is when I planted this. They're up, y'all. They are up and ready. Swiss char. And it's so simple. I mean, I didn't have to tend to them. Nothing. I let nature take its course. I let nature do it. Y'all ready? There's my Swiss char. Gorgeous. Rainbow Swiss char. Beautiful. Great germination. Uh, Roma tomatoes. Mmm, Roma tomatoes. I want to make some salsa with them. Let's see, the date on there was January the 12th. Now, we are in March, y'all. We are in March. Beginning of March, but still, we're in March now. Here we go. Romas. I have... One, two, three, four, five. All of them germinated. Okay, this was carrots. I didn't know how that was gonna work. Um, now you can transplant carrots. I know people get all like, no, you can't do it. You can, and I have, and I still will. Um, you just have to be very careful with the tap root make sure that you um, have it in some loose soil so that you can just slowly press it down don't damage it and um, you don't have carrots you don't have carrots so let's look at these carrots there we go so I will take these out of here and I will probably plant them in my raised bed so they can finish growing out in there Okay, we only have five more jugs left at this time. So hold on, y'all. Hold on. We're getting it, okay? This is Swiss char Swiss chard. Another thing of Swiss chard? Yeah. <laughs> I do love my Swiss chard. I ain't gonna lie. So I probably was like, yeah, I need to make more. Ooh, these are pretty. Look at those. Y'all see them? Gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the bottom of that, the webbing. Look at all those beautiful roots. Mm, mm, mm. Now, I'll eat a Swiss chard and uh, beet leaves salad, maybe. No, I'll probably have cooked. Uh-oh, I'm starting to feel sprinkles. It's supposed to rain today, but... Okay, let's hurry up. Okay, this... Ooh, this is the marshmallow plant, y'all. So, um, this is not the one from the Herb um, Planters Challenge. This is one I have planted just to see if I knew how to grow it. I never grew it before. Um, this is 112 on this marshmallow plant. But I see it in there. Wow, okay. Look at that. Do I see it? There's a couple of them in there. Uh, three. Three marshmallow plants. I don't know how many I planted in there. But three are up. Here is endive. Endive 
Oli Stress. Uh, eh. <laughs> uh, 112. All right, y'all ready for the end dive? Look at this. Look at that. Beautiful. Y'all. Winter sewing. It doesn't matter if you're in Texas. You can do this. It was nothing to it. I'm just like, come on, there your starts. Starts right now are six bucks. Five something. Five ninety something. Six dollars for one plant. Y'all better do some winter sewing next year. Trust me and believe me when I say you can winter sew in hot temps and you know hot areas, right? Okay. This is the crib tomato. Um, I grew these tomatoes last year. They're a nice big slicer uh, tomato. This was 112. Here we go. It's already trying to come out. Tomatoes starts already ready to go. Okay, last but not least, y'all. I have red sweet pepper, 112 as well. All right. There we go. Y'all see them? There is my peppers. Beautiful. Four came up. So, like I said, I will take these out individually. I'll mark my little solo cups with the new name on them and then I'll set them out I do have a tray let me show you these are the, uh, the um, soda bottle containers you can find these a lot um, at the grocery stores behind the stores things like that uh, I just put my cups in there look I can hold this whole tray eight cups in there and it has holes at the bottom of it so you can water your your plants the water's going to leak out of there and it's a convenient way to have all your your uh your plants in one area so now um uh, it's the job of taking all these out labeling them you know we got to do that but i hope you enjoyed this video definitely look into winter sewing you can do it it is so simple i still have more jugs when they get ready we will do another reveal of the things that have grown but all right guys if you haven't hit that subscribe button please do so you can join cc's texas garden and i will see y'all on the next video